Hello. Our topic for this lesson is, Presentation of Data. You need just 5 minutes, to complete this lesson. Let us see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Know what data collection is all about. 2. Understand the different types of data. 3. Understand the various ways of data presentation. Now, let us begin. Data can simply be defined as pieces of information obtained through counting, figures, observations, or measurements, and are arranged in a meaningful way. Remember, data can be collected for various reasons, which may include 1. For planning purposes. 2. For analysis purposes. 3. For prediction purposes, etc. Note that, data can be gotten, from various sources, such as, the Federal Office of Statistics, school records, hospital records, police records, and other reliable sources. Now, let us discuss the different types of data. There are two main types of data, namely 1. Qualitative data, which are categorical and are not given number values. Examples include marital status, political party, eye color, etc. 2. Quantitative data, which are numerical and have number values. Also, quantitative data can be split into discrete and continuous data. Discrete data are usually counted. Examples include 20 dogs number of children, etc. While continuous data are usually measured. Examples includes weight, voltage, etc. That's very good. Now, let us discuss data presentation. Data can be presented in a more readable form using a tabular representation known as the frequency table, which shows the number of times, a value appears. Let us see an example. Example 1. The marks, obtained by students, in an English test, of JSS2 class, are presented below. Now, A. Prepare a frequency distribution table, for these scores. B. How many students? took the test. C. How many students obtained a pass mark if the pass mark is 5? Solution. First, we set up a frequency distribution table, as shown below. Notice the marks and frequency columns. According to the table, two students scored one mark. One student scored two. One student, scored 3. Two students, scored 4. Four students, scored 5. Three students, scored 6. Six students, scored 7. Three students, scored 8. Two students, scored 9. And, one student, scored 10. Total number of students that took the test equals 25. To find the number of students who obtained the pass mark of 5, we simply add up the number of students who scored 5 and above, which equals 19 students. That's brilliant. Let us now see another way of presenting data known as the pie chart. A pie chart is another way of data presentation. A pie chart is a circular graph divided into parts. In such a way, the angle at the center 
is proportional to the frequency, represented by the parts. Before drawing a pie chart, we first do the following. 1. Find the total frequency. 2. Express each frequency, as a fraction, of the total frequency. 3. Multiply the result gotten above, by 360. Below, is an example of a pie chart. Now, let us represent data, using the pie chart. Example 2. In a certain college, the number of lessons, for each subject taken per week, are given below. English, equals 4. Mathematics, equals 5. Physics, equals 6. French, equals 4. Chemistry, equals 4. And, Biology, equals 13. Draw, a pie chart, to represent this information. Solution. First, we find the total frequency, and then, work out the various angles, as shown in the frequency table below. Notice that, to get the angles, each frequency, is divided by the total frequency, and then, multiplied by 360. Now, representing the information, on a pie chart, we see that, English, equals, 40 degrees. Mathematics, equals, 50 degrees. Physics, equals, 60 degrees. French, equals, 40 degrees. Chemistry, equals, 40 degrees. And, Biology, equals, 130 degrees. That's brilliant. Now, pause this video, copy these assignments in your notebook, and answer them accordingly. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. What data collection is all about. 2. The different types of data. And 3. The various ways of data presentation. I believe you enjoyed this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks and goodbye.